I'd like to take you through some of the basic concepts for creating profiles in the brand new sketch tool found in the latest release of NX. I'll start by creating a brand new sketch and then using the profile command to map out my profile. Here you can see me quickly generating the basic outline that I require. You'll notice that as I map out my profile I can also reference existing geometry to make sure my design intent is captured. When completing my profile, NX graphically displays that I have an enclosed boundary by shading it. Now that my profile is complete, I can quickly start editing the geometry just by simply dragging curves within the profile. If I want a specific size, then I can add a dimension. On activating the dimension, you're now seeing some of the key concepts and power of the brand new sketch tool. Graphically displayed are relations that have automatically been found by the brand new solver. It makes intelligent assumptions based on the geometry. This removes the need for me to create geometric constraints as you do in other CAD packages which can be time consuming. This brand new solver just allows me to get on with the task of defining the profile I need. So I input the value I want and notice NX gives me the opportunity to scale the rest of the geometry based on that first dimension. We talked about the relations and here you can see as I highlight them there's a tooltip to tell me exactly what relations have been found such as symmetry or collinearity. Notice as I dynamically drag the geometry that these relations are automatically maintained. So I'm going to add another dimension to the top of the profile. I input the size. Again, you notice the found relations being displayed. And now we'll make a change to the lower dimension. Again, as I drag the dimension, the size of the geometry is updated. But what happens if my design intent changes and I don't want some of these relationships to be maintained? Well, I can simply relax the relation as opposed to having to delete geometric constraints as you would do in other design systems. To do this I simply select the relation and now when I drag the dimension notice that the collinear relation has been relaxed and I'm able to make the design change I need. Similarly the other end I don't want that to be a vertical line I relax the vertical relation and make the change I need. So let's add some further geometry to our sketch. This time we're going to create a couple of concentric circles and position them on the y-axis of the sketch. Notice that when I go to edit the outer circle it's automatically found an offset relation. So again as I dynamically drag the offsets maintained. We'll continue to add geometry this time a couple of tangential lines to our base profile. and we'll then just make a change there make some modifications to the dimensions again you'll see either side and now we'll trim the geometry up to get a complete profile again very simply very easily we can do that we'll add a couple of fillets And again, we'll just make a modification, change the dimension, either end again. I'll continue to define our profile by adding a further dimension to control the height of that diameter. And again, you'll notice the relations found. And also, as I drag the dimension up and down, the point on curve relation is maintained on the y-axis. If I want to remove that, I can relax it and again drag that diameter off of the axis. Notice all the other geometry updating. If I want to control the height of my base, then again I add another dimension and this time when I make the modification, the thickness is maintained. So that's the demonstration completed. You've seen the new key principles and the power 
of the brand new sketch tool inside the latest release of NX which makes creating sketch profiles and modifying them extremely easy to do using the brand new solver and the automatically found relations. Thank you for your time and attention.